innocent man be put to death? That is the question in ID Channel's Killing Richard Glossop. Today we're taking a uh, talking with Richard Glossop's defense attorney, Don Knight, and also award-winning filmmaker Joe Berlinger, talking about uh, never-before-seen evidence to save his life in ID Channel's new two-day docu-series. Good morning to both of you. Thanks for being on the show this Thanks morning. Thanks for having us, Stephanie. Thank you, Stephanie. Good morning. And wow, what a story. So Oklahoma inmate Richard Glossop is on death row and prepared to die for a crime he says he didn't commit. Uh, yeah, right? I mean, and, and a lot of people uh, feel that way. Uh, the show demonstrates that the, it was a deeply flawed uh, conviction, a deeply flawed post-conviction period, and even his journey on death row. You know, he's been sentenced, he's been uh, had three last meals, and they've actually tried to execute him three times. And can you imagine going through that process of, of coming within minutes of your life uh, being terminated for a crime you didn't commit three different times? And now there's this brief window of time for us to get the show out, to get the word out that this guy is actually innocent. And uh, a lot of supporters, Richard Branson, Susan Sarandon, Sister Helen Prejean, all of whom are in the show, plus a lot of un unsung heroes who are working to, to get word out uh, about this case. Wow. No, as you said, I, I, it would be hard to imagine. I can't. Uh, how does a guy, though, like Richard Glossip, with no prior felony convictions, end up in this position and, and get put on death row? Does the evidence uh, point to him beyond all reasonable doubt? Well, Stephanie, I think what this comes down to is, is what happens in our adversarial system where there is no adversary. The, the defense lawyers put up minimal effort. They did minimal investigation. The prosecution there in Oklahoma at that time under Bob Macy was, uh, it, was it was a train that you got on or it ran, or it ran over you. And uh, in this case, it ran right over Rich. Uh, so the prosecutors were working hard for conviction and the defense lawyers were doing nothing for Rich in two separate trials. And, and this is what happens in our system when it isn't fair. And it wasn't fair at that time. I mean, there is no forensic evidence linking Richard Glossop to the crime scene. There is just the word of the confessed killer, Justin Sneed, who clearly says he, he, did, the, he did the crime. He killed the motel owner, Barry Van Treese. Uh, but he had the incentive of getting off of a, a death penalty himself by implicating uh, Richard Glossop, who was his boss. Uh, and the jury did not get to see a very troubling interrogation tape of Justin Sneed in which you see the police leading him down this path. Uh, you know, it's really, you know, in this country, when you're sentenced to death, it needs to be beyond all reasonable doubt. That's the measure of the law. And there is so much doubt in this case, so many problems. You know, even though my personal opinion is that he's innocent, the show takes a very balanced view. And it demands that we look into all of these troubling questions before we kill somebody who's innocent. Yeah. Well, when did this become personal for you guys? I mean, as an attorney, you cover tough cases all the time, I'm sure. And as a filmmaker, you often cover tough stories. But when did this story make you want to step up and go beyond your typical role? Well, why did you want well, to do that? For, with for me, I'll just tell you, you know, I've had, you know, dozens of phone calls with him in on death row with Richard Glossop. We finally, uh, you know, I was the first... Uh, interview, filmed interview that was allowed to happen with Richard Glossop on death row. It took several years to, to, for, for that to happen. Uh, and just meeting him in person and speaking, speaking to him uh, on the phone, you just get a sense of people. Uh, and I just, it just, you know, hearing the horrible situation that he endured and then just talking to him face to face, uh, it just led me to believe that, you know, we really, we, we really need to look into this case. You know, we can't be killing people who are potentially innocent. Mm -hmm. And with the growing support you've had worldwide, I mean, you, you mentioned a, a list of high-profile supporters. What are your hopes with this docu-series, though? It's a, it's a two-day series on the ID channel, which is airing tonight. But what do you need to happen to change the outcome or support from, from your more uh, viewers, maybe? Is that what you're looking for? Kind of hoping that someone will come forward to with maybe details well, that you haven't heard of Well, Rich yet. wants his story to get out, and that's one thing that's going to happen. He wants people to know that he's innocent. But very important to us is there, there will be people who will watch this show who may have information. They may have talked to somebody. There are a lot of people there who never got talked to. So we're looking for anybody who has information about what happened at the Best Budget Inn in Oklahoma City in 1997, any information at all about that time period or that place to come forward and contact us at richardglossop.com 
and it could very well help save an innocent man. And 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 also, you know, the uh, the good people of Oklahoma, you know, I believe that all people all Americans are fundamentally good and I I think if the if the people of Oklahoma knew what the state is doing in their name, uh, you know, I just want those people to really know what's happening in their state that an innocent person is potentially being killed and they've tried to kill him already three times. I, I'm I'm sure you know, regular people in, in Oklahoma don't want that to happen. Yeah. Well, thank you both so much. Tune in again tonight uh, for a look at what seems to be a, a pretty haunting and bizarre story. It's airing on the ID channel again tonight, so you can head to our website uh, for more information. If you want to learn more, maybe see this interview again. But tune in to the ID channel. We're going to have more information at foxformorningblend.com.